Looking to upgrade the firmware for your Mini Doge Pro? In this video, I'll show you two ways to get it done. So let's take a look. There's a couple things I want to state before we begin. First, if your miner's running normally without any issues, don't upgrade your miner. There's a chance that you might be doing more harm than good, and if there is no real problem, then don't upgrade. The second one is, if you choose to upgrade your firmware, do not power off the device while the upgrade is taking place. Wait till it's completed. At that time, once it's completed and you can't log in, then you can go ahead and reboot the device. But during the upgrade of the firmware, do not power off your miner. Now there's two ways to upgrade the firmware for your miner. One is to trigger the upgrade from the Gold Shell Cloud site, which is great if your miner is not easily accessible. The second is to download the firmware directly from the Gold Shell GitHub webpage, then upload it to your miner and reboot the device if needed. In this video, I'm gonna be covering both methods, so let's start with method number one. For method number one, we're gonna head over to hub.goldshell.com. I'll make sure I'll link this in the description below. When you're at this website, you're gonna to wanna to register and create an account. If you bought your Gold Shell Miner directly from Gold Shell, you more than likely already have an account created. You can go ahead and log in. So I'm just gonna take a moment here and I'm gonna log into the webpage. Okay, I've just logged in and as you can see, I have one miner online, that's my KD Box Pro. I'll be adding my second one in. And for me to do that, I need to get a secret key. To get that key, you're gonna go over to the left-hand side under account settings, click on that, and then you'll see your key over here. This is a unique key just to your account, and any miner that you use this key with will automatically be linked to your account. So you can go ahead and click on the copy button on the right-hand side. And once you've clicked on copy, it'll save it into your keyboard. Next, what you wanna do is log into your miner. Now, if you can't log into your miner, you can go to find.goldshell.com and it'll show you all the miners that are available on your local network. In this case, I have my KD Box Pro and I also have my Mini Doge Pro. And you can see over here just next to it is the IP address that I can log into it, or I can go all the way over to the right-hand side where we have the settings, click on that, and it'll log me into my device. Once we're logged into our device, we can go over to the left-hand side and click on system. Inside system, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down a little bit here and go to cloud control settings. We have the option to enable it by just hitting the switch and below we can paste in the key that we were provided on the last page. So you go ahead and paste it in here and then you just have to click on apply. When you click on apply, you may notice nothing actually happens, but it's actually done on the back end. If you go over to the Gold Shell Hub page, and then go to overview, you'll see that there's now two miners listed and it's now been connected. On the left-hand side, you have miner management. If you click on that and then miner list, you'll see a list of all your active devices. Now we can upgrade the firmware for the miner. If you scroll over to the right-hand side, you can check out the latest version. For this one, it's 2.2.3. We'll scroll back over to the left, check the box for this miner, go to the actions menu at the top, select upgrade, and from here, all you have to do is click on confirm. The process will take a couple of minutes as it upgrades the firmware, and then you're done. For method number two, we're gonna to go to the official GitHub page for Gold Shell, and we're gonna be downloading the firmware. I'll make sure I link this in the description below. At this page, you can scroll down and you can see that there's firmware for every single miner that's here. On the right-hand side is the description, but it's not very clear. If you look on the left-hand side, it's very specific on which miner it's for. In this case, we're gonna be doing the Gold Shell Mini Dodge Pro. So we're gonna click on that, and it's gonna take us to the download page. If you take a look at the top, we're just confirming that we're at the correct miner and the version. You click on download and it'll start downloading the firmware on your computer. The size of this file is only 22 megs, so it shouldn't take very long to get it. Once you have this downloaded, what you wanna do is log into your miner. And if you're having problems locating it or finding the IP address, I can show you a website that'll help you locate it fairly easily. The website is find.goldshell.com. And what this website does is it shows every single Gold Shell miner that's on your local network and it populates it here with the name and the IP address. Here is my Mini Doge Pro miner and the IP address assigned is 192.168.1.115. To easily get there, I just have to click on this settings button and it jumps over to the website for my miner. Over here on the right hand side, you can see I'm running 2.23, which is a version that's installed and I'll be upgrading it to 2.24. To upgrade our firmware, we're gonna to go to the menu on the left-hand side and then click on system. And inside system, what we're gonna do is scroll down to a section here called update. And here it is. And you can see below, we have a field called firmware version. We just have to click on the space and it'll open up our download folder. You just wanna ensure that you're in the correct folder with your firmware file in there. So you just have to select it and then click on open. You'll now see it listed in the field. And the last step is just to click on the update button. As it updates it, you can see the progress bar going all the way through. Definitely do not power off your miner while this update is taking place. The update might take a few minutes, so just wait for this progress bar to go all the way through. I'll jump over to the next step. 
Okay, and that only took a couple of minutes for it to take place. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go over to the home screen and you can still see that the version number is 2.23. I'm just gonna refresh the window and there you go. Now the version number is 2.24 and we've just updated the firmware. And now that that's complete, I'm just gonna go over to the minor section. You can see I'm offline at the moment, but it might just take a minute or two. There you go, it just came back online. It usually takes a minute or two for it to connect and then you'll be back online and you'll be instantly mining again. I'm using DX pool to mine over here and you can see that there's very minimal interruption. Um, when I go to my main screen, you can see that there's no hash rate yet. This will populate in just a few minutes and I'll, what I'll do is I'll jump over to that part. Okay, and a few minutes have just passed and I've just refreshed the page. And now you can look at the hash rate chart here and it's peaked all the way up to where it should be and we're mining crypto again. DX pool is now populated as well and you can see that my miner is active and online. Very minimal interruption. The entire down period might just be a few minutes as you upgrade the firmware. So that's how you do it. That's how you upgrade the firmware on your mini Doge Pro miner by Goldshell. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please smash that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. I have a lot more videos coming out. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.